Apparently we are live, okay, as per usual. Gotta go to Facebook. Oh, excuse the scrunching. Tonight is collage night, so I have got, oh, wrong group, hearts already. <laughs> oh man, Facebook. Okay, so I'm seeing one viewer. I'm hoping that is Sandra and that we are live on Facebook and on YouTube. <laughs> The internet's taking its sweet time. Oh, hello. Okay, we're definitely on YouTube, which is great. Scratch, scratch, scratch. Yes, okay, I can see myself. <clears throat> Excuse me. Okay, I'm gonna close. Hey, Anita, welcome. Oh, I hope I didn't just go all over the place. So, oh, let's hide my recycling box. <laughs> Turn that around. Oh, you can still see it. Hey, Sandra. <clears throat> so I'm just going to put this on while a uh, couple more. Oh, Lisa. Why do I? Oh, wow. Why do I? Toddler. Welcome, Lisa. Welcome, Anita. Welcome, Bugs. Hello, Sandra. Hey, baby Mila. <clears throat> I have switched desks. And as you can see, I had to do a bit of a mad cover up of the mess. <laughs> So I've got a canvas behind me. That's a little blanket over there. Got a snoring cat over there. She's happy. So I hope she's not too loud. Actually, I'd love her to be extra, extra loud so that you would properly hear her because she can get really loud. I sat down earlier and put my legs kind of over the top of her. Oh, she nearly burst. It was so cute. This week, since we are the last weekend of January, oh my goodness, uh, this is going to be our last official collage um week just from that theme we will be doing collages again don't worry and last week let me see where last week's is i know i've showed it in the group during the week but just in case anybody missed last week's this is last week's collage i accidentally did two collages uh i will only be doing one collage this week so i've chosen nope this page <laughs> this page the bluey greeny background I just love the painted backgrounds that I did it on last week. It just, I don't know, it added like another dimension to the collage work last week. And hello. Oh, that looks like spam. How sad. How very sad. Put user in a timeout. Oh, well, you can do loads of things. Um. So yes, since this is the last of our collage work, I wanted us to do what we learned last week about intuitive collage work and at the same time I want to use supplies that we already have in our stashes because whenever it comes to decluttering uh, using what we have in our stash I know that we can all be a bit terrible and a bit hoardery and we can just collect far too many things before we get overwhelmed and I thought number one that would be fantastic way to relax as always to let your brain just decompress and just check out for a while while you're doing something creative that you really enjoy you will also be using things that you've been collecting for potentially years i know that's the case with me if i i found a catalog i'm going to be using some items from from like six years ago so i think it's time <laughs> i think that's time that get used so that also will relieve stress give you a wee boost because you're actually using things, you're like getting rid of stuff. And you'll also have something completed by the end of this, which again, gives you another boost. And it's again, excellent for your mental health. So I am thrilled, excuse me. <clears throat> Gonna be frog in my throat. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm, I'm totally thrilled that you're with me again. I love the collage work. I just, I find it such an enjoyable experience just sitting cutting stuff out. Last week, I loved that it was Megan actually who found a feature on moi in a magazine. That was fabulous. I have, I don't know if you saw the photo that I posted in the event in Facebook, but my desk is a mess. Look at all this. Hang on, I'm gonna lift it up. I'm gonna attempt to lift it all up. Things may fall, things are crinkling. Oh. Camera's move, move. <laughs> Oops. Okay. Oh man, there's too much to be lifting. So I've got all of this. Oh, and stuff has fallen. Actually, I'm gonna gather it all together and then I'm just gonna tip the camera down so I don't totally wreck the place. 
I was so tempted to use Marilyn's face this week. I know it was the picture that I shared during the week, but I'm gonna go for a lot of blues and purples because I thought that would be great. Um, actually, no, I will. I'll lift it up and see what falls. Like all of this, I've just been going through all this. <laughs> Tidy that up. I'm using those um, toilet roll papers that I had. I still have loads of them if anybody wants some. So please raise your paws if you would like some posted to you. More than happy to do that. And I've got, I found stickers here that have seen better days, just the fallen over. Hello, could Sandra, could you tell me who this is? Because um, just you need to grant permissions again for StreamYard. Hello and welcome. I'm so glad that you're here. I love collage work. And I've got another page uh, like I had last week of the testers for oil, my oil collage, or oil collage, oil pastels. Bonnie! Hey, Bonnie, welcome! I really did love your collage about simplifying. And I love that it was simple. I really like that. I think that's maybe what inspired me to do what I am planning to do today. Lots of calm blues. Uh, yeah, it's going to be simple for definite. And really embracing patterns. So I'm definitely, definitely looking forward to this. And I've even, uh, I found this glue, but I, I mm, if I recall, it was bright blue whenever I got it. So I'm not 100% sure that that's going to work. <laughs> but I've still got two spares, as always. Got a couple of spares in the back pocket. Let me see. Have I got anything? To... Oh, yeah, I've got my bowl of tapes as per, as per usual. And I've got even more stickers. And yes, I successfully moved desks this week. Whoop, whoop. I'm really glad I did that. I, oh. Still frustrated, you can see the recycling box behind me. <laughs> right. So, yeah, maybe need to move that canvas over. Oh, Mumbles is just having a wee bath. And the, I've got my vintage, um, my chandelier thingies. And I've got my zebra peeking over the top, but I don't think you can see my zebra in a party hat. Actually, speaking of zebras, I wonder where Becca is. Haven't seen her in a while. Let's get in touch. Love having my zebra around, but even he always lives up there. So I can see him when I look at my clock. Because I love looking at him and his wee face. So I am going to go ahead and get ready. I mean, started ready. Cheapers. I'm so sorry. I have had a killer migraine all day. Um, I didn't have migraine tablets, but I've taken a couple of painkillers. So if I'm squinting, oh no, you won't see me because I'll be using my hands. But just if... If I'm having more brain farts than usual, that's why. And yeah, let's get going. Oh, who has their supplies with them? Who's ready to start sticking? Oh, thank you very much, Anita. This was a collaborative effort between myself and Poopers. If you hold it up, oh my God, I can't lift that like that. <laughs> if you hold it up to bright sunlight, like right in the middle of it, you can see just a little paw print where she <laughs> where she walked all over the table. It's like, oh, thanks, papers, thank you. Yeah, I, I like it. I haven't signed it, but I like that I can kind of hang it any which way I please. And I have done. There's actually this bit here that reminds me of some very, uh, like a very famous kind of, it's not a landmark, but I guess it kind of is in Belfast, of the Harland and Wolf cranes where the Titanic was built. Uh, and just... It was completely by accident, but whenever it's on its side, that's it always makes me think of home just because of that. You could see it's a bit like cloud watching. You could see a million things in that canvas. <laughs> so let's get going. I'm sorry. I keep getting hairs tickling my nose, driving me mad. So let's see. Yes, you can see the full table. Woo. OK, so it was definitely a good idea to switch over this week. And I'm glad that I did. Definitely. These are the collage items that I plan on using today. Um, just because I wanted to save time. Um, I can't guarantee how long my headache will kind of be manageable. And I am so desperate to use this moss. I thought that I could even turn it into a wee love heart of some kind. Maybe, mm, we'll see. And I cut up a calendar and that catalog. This is from... Do you remember the affirmation cards that we made way back when using just some painted backgrounds and the little pulley printer and positive quotes? And I'm really focusing on pattern today, although this is like a beautiful seascape. 
from the same catalogue as this, which was a Bowden catalogue from 20, 2016, I think. This, uh, I showed this last week. This was packaging in the back of washi tapes. So the washi tapes were all stacked on top of this. This is a flower that I printed out way back uh, for our Halloween collage. This I cut out last week. Uh, calendar. And this is actually the home of Tamsin Morgans. I absolutely love what she did with this dresser. And I saved it because I wanted to do like a blue underneath. Oh, more spam comments on YouTube. Thank you so much. Black. And block. Sorry. I just keep getting, I don't know what it is. I'm definitely going to have to remove the comments after this. So don't let me forget. And I am... Um, Anita, have you gone through your supplies and um, cut any collage or taken out any collage items that you may have had? Oh, uh, do I want to put this? Does this fit? Oh yeah, this fits. So overlap or... Man, I wish that it was, I had a freestanding like iPad thing so that I could just put you right over the top so you could see what I was doing. It would be handy if the, the glasses were in, or the camera was in my glasses. That would be the best. <laughs> and I think that I'll have to trim that flower for where I want it to go. So I'll need to trim that about there. And uh, let me see. Put this in here maybe. Hmm. Lower. Okay. And put this down here. Because <clears throat> I really want uh, the tears. So these, these things have all been torn. Well, not all of them. The catalogue pieces have been torn in pieces because there were like little, there were ladies in the way and all that. Um, maybe I'll put this little dolly. I'm not even that mad about the little dolly, actually. Let me see. I'm so sorry about all the crinkles. Crinkly, crinkly. I'll take it over here. Oh, my things over. This was my Marilyn head that I wanted to use. Yay! Were you having trouble seeing and hearing me? Is this Bonnie as well? I like this. This is little magnets. I think this was um, a Molly Mix calendar from many, many, many years ago also. Um, oh, what's that? A moss. More flowers. Oh, I like these um, purples. Oh, and this, uh, we were talking about shabby chic decor last week. Oh, I wonder if I took in those magazines. I found them this week. Oh, Susan, yay! Welcome. This is shabby chic style here, as is this. Love it. Oh, and I remembered the name of those trays. The tray that I showed you last week is called a Florentine tray. Oh, as soon as I came offline, I remembered what it was. Egypt, absolute Egypt. I'm gonna set this over here and just wheel myself over here to check whether or not I brought in the right box or I got my dad to bring in the right box. Dead, dead, dead. Oh, my canvas, my canvas. <laughs> okay, so this is for later. Rachel, yay, welcome. Oh, I'm so glad that you're here, Rachel. It's been ages. And now I'm stuck. Okay, let me see. I'm gonna go shabby chic, but I also still want to tie in with these beautiful tiles. So maybe not. Hmm. Well, there's a wee tear in the magnets. Okay, that's cute. I can live with that. Um, And this. Now, I usually like to piece things together before I just randomly stick them down.
just to know what I'm doing. How's baby Mila growing in your belly? Place this down here because you can write on that kind of painted background, no problem. Go like that. Oh, I can hear. Oh no! Ooh, I love that idea of working with flowers. Who was it that said that I was freezing? Is that the same for everybody? I'm so sorry, it's the internet quality here in the Irish countryside. We did get cables um, put in last week or the week before for fiber optic broadband, so we'll be getting that soon. But until that stage, we're, we're gonna be freezing for a while, I'm so sorry. That is unfortunate. So I think I'm happy with that. I'll show you. It'll be upside down. Oh, actually, I can turn it around. I'm so sorry. I'll turn it around and then I'll show you. And I love that this chair leans back. <laughs> so little shabby chic style collage with flowers and lovely colors. And I'm going to start sticking. But I need to bring her back around. Ah, so then it might be your internet. Okay, well, even so, I noticed the quality on this being pretty poor and it's for that reason. So I do apologize if it is sticking for anybody else. Sticking, freezing. I'm gonna be sticking. Internet's freezing. <laughs> words, Claire, use your words. So this goes down before this. This goes down before this. This goes down. And this goes down before these things. Okay. Everybody remember the, the way I've said that. <laughs> Everybody remember. Okay, so one, two, three. I'll just do it that way. So, so I know, so I get it right. Um, okay, so that's good. Uh, Sandra says the picture's been good the last few sessions. I think that's because um, people aren't really streaming TV and things now in the house whenever I'm on these because there were internet problems. Great, that's great to hear, thank you. And this one's next. how wide that is because I want to still be able to see the detail on this cabinet. Oh, did I say I wanted to put this one down first? I will put this one down first. Having these items cut in advance and telling you to bring things in advance is definitely way easier. So I'll continue to do that. And next month, February, uh, I want us to concentrate on all things love. And that is self-love. Loving yourself, having loving relationships with others, all of that. And we're going to do it through artwork. And that might include some more collage, but we'll be doing different, different types and doing a lot more uh, kind of emotional infused work. Because so far we have, I've been concentrating a lot on relaxation and just figuring out what the most popular types of things that we do are, like the, the most popular homework and things that get posted in the group. Because it's important to be able to deliver what it is you actually want to see and take part in, you know? Um, let me see. Oh, there's a gap. Well, I mean, oh, I might mm, put another bit of purple in there. Yeah, that could work. I'll tear that. 
I can hear Mumble snoring away over home. <laughs> oh, apparently my dad, so Mumbles has had a wee ear infection and she's had to get antibiotics. And my folks forgot earlier when they were feeding her. So they took the bowl off her to like mush up her wee tablets and put it in. And this screams, oh, you would have thought somebody had stood in her tail. Why would you? That's my dinner. How's Daisy? Cannot believe that I haven't asked Sandra how Daisy's doing. <gasps> Gosh, this might be a really quick Facebook <laughs> live tonight. What I do want to know is if you're not crafting at the minute, like if you're not doing your collage, what have been your absolute favorite kind of crafty things for us to do in these sessions? What have you found the most enjoyable and that you would happily do again? Because that's what I want to be able to deliver to you. And again, I, I love doing these, especially the quick ones, because they just prove time and time again that you don't need a heck of a lot of time. Oh, look at the state of my fingers already. You don't need a lot of time to be crafty in the day and enjoy yourself. I could actually trim that. This is a bit like colour therapy for me too because it's all my favourite kind of relaxing scenes and colours in one collage. I liked working on canvas too. I've got a ton of little canvases to work on. Thanks to Santa this year or last year. Oh, now I have a gap that I had not anticipated. So, so, so. What shall we put in here? One purple flower works. I like the tear detail, so I'm just going to keep that in there. Do you I probably could do another collage? Now, what do I want here? Oh, yeah. I'll put this guy down in the corner since I've been trying to use him for ages and ages. Put one of these stickers. Um, do I want to though? 
I like the leaves. I like these leaves. Oop. These guys. Just here. Just for a little visual difference. And then maybe one of these flowers up here. Mm, under the rose. And I will write. It's not working that well. I think it might be this pan. And what do we got? What do we got? Maybe one handbag. Sorry, my love. Much better. And I'm just writing, so this says smile, and I'm writing for the world is a beautiful place. Oh, oh the writing's a bit difficult to do this part. E. Oh, better put a bit of paper down there so I don't smudge what I've just written. I'm just adding thicker lines on the downstroke to make it look like fake calligraphy instead of just kind of scripty handwriting. And this is just an ink pen, like a water-based ink pen. Oh no, I'm leaning on scissors. Ah. Sorry, I need to really concentrate this bit. Otherwise things could go a bit skew with. That cat is really snoring her head off right now. <laughs> yeah. Sometimes you won't realize she's in a room until like the curtain starts snoring or something when she's sleeping in the window. Oh, tricky. Oh, there we go. And little hearts coming out of my mouth. I love part. <laughs> What date is this? 20th? Oh, I didn't date last week's. What date was last Friday? Oh, quickly, somebody. I don't have a calendar with me. Oh no. Uh, 21st? That makes sense. Claire, dope. Used to minus seven. Oh. 
21st of the 1st, I nearly wrote 7th there, why? Thank you, Sandra. <sighs> Let's see what I can do with give me another page. I'm going to have more pages that need um, covers. I just like showing you how fast we can cover pages. Yeah, okay, so this work in progress that was never nothing ever happened. So let's go colourful. Maybe this, maybe not. You're going to have to tell me if you're able to hear her wee stupid snores. Oh no, I've just dropped a load on the floor. By the way, I came down here this morning and somebody, um, not naming any names, papers, somebody had been sitting on the desk and just pawing all my merino yarn out of the basket that she could reach and onto the floor. Just, mm-hmm, 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 mm-hmm. <laughs> this is her bedroom, so I don't know. It's like, nope, I don't care for this. I don't care for this. So this bit is faded on one side. This is just uh, a coffee filter that I literally got a Tombow marker and just bleep, 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 with the brush part of it one day. So I, I'm gonna just trim. That's not straight. Better, but still not great. <laughs> let me see. Let me see. I'm trying to get this yellow paper. What's that? I'm looking for a flamingo that I cut out. It was on the floor. Mm. Uh, let's see. Cut here. I love washi tape as well. And the cheaper is not full size. Uh, so I'm gonna I like the, the kind of paint pen detail over here. I love washi tape as well. I have tons of it actually, so I could some of that in the corner maybe? Hmm, what about dots? Hmm, what's that? Stripes? Oh, I like those teal stripes. Or black and white stripes, which ones? Oh no, there's like gold houses in there. Side. 
actually it might be easier if I do these corners like this. Oh no, corner bent over. I can always get really sharp scissors and trim the ends at a later date. Now, let me see. I may not use the black washi tape, I'm just going to unroll it and see how I feel. Yeah, I like it. I like it. Um, Madge, let me see it. Oh no. She needs something else. She needs... Mm -hmm. Let me see. Just gonna mark. If this were a scrapbook piece, <clears throat> excuse me, I would um, I would be adding like paper ruffles underneath, things to give it more dimension. But as it stands, I think I can get away from that a bit more. more blue, I don't really want to add more blue, but I'll see. It would be so good if you could see just right over my shoulder. I wonder if there's bound to be a way where I could set it up. The only thing is, oh, if I had a stand where I could do that, like have the iPad or just over my desk, it would be right in front of the light. So it would be just, oh my gosh, more spam on YouTube and look. Um, so I'm going to turn this around for what it is. Don't like the blue underneath at the minute, but she does need something just under the vintage wallpaper. And let me see, is this wide enough? Oh, it might be. Well, well, well. Yep, I'm gonna go for that. hope this works. As I said earlier, this stuff was the bright blue whenever I bought it, so I don't know if it's going to still work. 
Fingers crossed, everybody. Fingers crossed. Well, this was meant to go in first. Uh, put the white one in. This is also, <clears throat> excuse me, this particular collage technique is utilizing one of the things that we covered pretty early on in our art therapy sessions, which was layering and how we can make all of our single elements come together quite easily with layering. And I'm going to go with some dotty tape. I like dots and I like flowers. I don't know what this came on because it's blue on the back on this. I glued it. No, I didn't glue it to something. I wonder what it was. There we go, I've done two collages this week. I will not finish this one just yet. Oh, I like this. Um, now, oh, parts. So, I'm thinking, hello darling, is an excellent sticker to put. With Madeline. right kind of on the join between the wallpaper and the oil pastel page underneath and I'm going to have 28 in the corner really want that to dry but I quite like that and that was that was less than 10 minutes that collage I think that looks great but I am kind of biased because I did it. Oh, excuse my dirty hands. <laughs> my dirty arms as well. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Hang on, I'm going to... I don't know why I turned that around again. Bringing myself back. Oh, I think the Marlin collage is excellent. In my humble opinion. And I'll find this other kind of shabby chic collage. I enjoyed doing it. I really did. And it was a good way to use up my stash on this side. It's kind of difficult to judge it whenever it's covered by, um, or not covered, it's kind of, uh, what's the word? Dwarfed? Mm, no, that's not the word. You just don't see it as much as you would because of this super bright floral um, painting. So I'm just gonna hold this up. So this one, if you ignore the other page, <laughs> I think it looks really good. I think it looks cute. Um, so you said you love how it looks with the flowers on the other page, Sandra. Are you talking about the Marilyn one? And I've managed to pick out two Christmas magazines of these uh, Jean Jean Dark Living magazines. <sighs> what have I done? So yeah, I love what we did this week and I need to fix this again, excuse me paint all up my arm and everything that's just come from resting on the journal i've done well this week i'm gonna have another look and see if i've got maybe one that isn't a christmas magazine christmas christmas my goodness i find the box i think i've got um 18 to sell Yeah, nope. Just all kinds of fun. Ah, oh, Was who was it that wanted to see these last week? Was it uh, Susan or Megan? I just remember seeing. So what's that one? That's twenty sixteen. These are twenty fourteen. I've got a a large collection, and they're usually they were like 
nine quid um, an issue. I collected them for a couple of years on and off. Just depended on if I saw anything that was very beautiful on the inside. So I apologize for this being all wintry and Christmassy, but I just want to show what we were speaking about last week when we were talking about shabby chic. So this is all shabby chic. Actually, even better idea, Claire, just put the camera down. Move this gunk out of the way. Where are they? This way. Tip this just slightly. Um, oh man. We'll get there in the end. <laughs> so, um, yeah, shabby chic living for definite. These are the magazines that I was referring to last week, especially when I was talking about all the, the shabby chic decor that I just adore completely. But my decor has always been a mix of shabby chic and kind of like pastel pop. So it's got elements of shabby chic in it, but lots of poppy pastels that just grab you by the eyeballs and make you feel good. And I think it's because we live in such a dark country over here that you need that kind of thing when there's no flipping sunshine about. So I'm just going to skip a few pages here. It's good DIYs. I mean, most of it's in Danish, I think. Well, that's English. That's English. This style I love, the purple, just a little bit of color in there. <gasps> Ooh, look at those flowers. How beautiful for Christmas. Very different. Love it. Um, but yeah, I don't need to hold on to these magazines. Especially they're just in a box. And I also don't have the heart to cut them up because they are so beautiful and the price. They would just turn into my art journals and I'd still be holding on to them. So, ooh, ooh. whatever that is, yes, please. <laughs> Like a big, big strawberry jelly dessert type thing. Their springtime issues are very beautiful. So much shabby chic decor. So I hope Susan or Megan or whoever it was that wanted to see these is satisfied. I did dig them out specially and I did find the magazines where I've been featured. So I know where those are and I can get my hands on them easily. Oh. And what I want now, this next week, your homework is to just post a picture of the collage that you've done for this session. So I will be taking pictures and posting them on both Instagram and in the Facebook group. And I want to know how you felt about working. Oh, you're away. <laughs> How you felt about working on your collages and how you feel about next week and starting off on our journey to more love in our lives whether it is loving yourself appreciating yourself more or just sharing uh, a little more love and acceptance 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 and kindness to other people in your relationships no matter who or what or where or any of that and I look forward to seeing you next week can't believe I've come in under an hour this week and I did two collages at this time on purpose but yeah we did really well thank you so much as always for joining me even if you're joining on replay of course hit that hashtag replay oh and you can get inside the Facebook group no problem I should have had this up at the very beginning my goodness it's just the quick link to get you to the group so you can join anytime you like. You can grab the free downloads that are in the group, but I haven't had to share any in a wee while. Um, I've just been using this week um, Stash, Stash Boston. The whole point was to get rid of the stuff that we've been hoarding because we do as crafters have a tendency to hoard. And last week I just made, found all my collage elements in Canva and printed them out. Uh, I offered them to anybody who wants them uploaded, just tell me and I will upload them. So far, no takers, which is okay. There's not a problem. Just let me know if you do want it. It's no problem to download it and, and give it to you. 
my word of the year for, was it the week before? Yeah, the week before was progress, where I wanted to progress and get better in, oh no, last week's, I was using magazine cutouts. The week before was the Canva elements, excuse me. Um, I wanted to get better with my kind of steadiness, my walking. I wanted to just remind myself to go outside more and enjoy the sunshine or the cold, as long as the sun's shining, just the fresh air, um, meditate more, you know, the healthy habits that we always intend on doing and doing them in small increments, like not driving myself crazy if I don't do it, but also just creating micro habits so that I do manage to get there and I make small amounts of progress every day. That's the idea. And if some days I'm not feeling well and I need to rest, that's fine. That's no problem. It's the accumulation of what I'm doing over the months. It's not like on a day to day basis that I'm going to be working this hard on. So as per usual, I just want to thank you. I've got one more comment. Yeah. OK. Just Yes, I agree. Thank you. Um, yeah, I've had a great time this week, as always. I love this time spent it with you and just messing around being crafty. It's a lot of fun. So thank you. And I will see you next week. Bye.